Hey, this is Prash Talwalker reminding you to mind your decisions. Here's a problem I received by email about two years ago. If A, B, C, and D are positive integers with a sum of 63, what is the maximum value of A, B plus B, C plus C, D? I did some research and the problem traces back to the Australian Intermediate Olympiad in 2013. This is a test for talented students who are in the years of 7 through 10 which I believe is the ages of 11 through 15. The test consists of four hours to solve 10 problems and no calculators are allowed. And remember, students haven't taken calculus yet, so limit yourself to solving this problem using geometry and algebra. I'll admit it's a very hard problem I wasn't able to solve it. If you'd like to give it a try, pause the video right now and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So how are we even supposed to maximize the quantity AB plus BC plus CD? It seems like such an abstract thing. Why would anyone want to maximize this? To get a better sense of what this sum is, let's use an area model. We'll construct rectangles whose areas are each of these terms. Let's first construct a rectangle whose area is AB. We have one length of A and a width of B. This rectangle will have an area of AB. To get BC, we add a length of C, and this rectangle will have an area of BC. To get CD, we add a width of D, and this rectangle will be an area of CD. Now just for fun, let's complete this rectangle. This final rectangle here will have an area of AD. What the area model shows us is that AB plus BC plus CD is the sum of the blue areas, and that will be the area of the entire rectangle, which has sides A plus C and B plus D, minus the small rectangle AD we thus get the following algebraic identity. How is that going to help us? Well, to maximize the blue areas, we can equivalently maximize the area of this rectangle minus AD. We can then use some geometric insight. For a fixed length and width, the sum of the blue areas is maximum if A is as small as possible. All of the variables have to be positive integers, so the smallest positive integer will be a is equal to 1. Let's visualize why this is true. Now similarly, for a fixed length and width, the sum of the blue areas is maximum if d is as small as possible. So we need d to be the smallest positive integer, which is 1. Here's a visualization of that. We therefore have translated the problem into something a little more manageable. We have a maximization problem with two variables, c and b. We can further simplify this. Recall that the sum of all the variables is 63. We deduce that a and d need to be equal to 1, and this means that b plus c have to be equal to 61, or b is equal to 61 minus c. We can substitute that back into our original expression, and we end up with an optimization problem in just one variable, c. We can then expand this binomial and simplify to get that we need to optimize a quadratic equation. How can we solve for the maximum value of this expression? We'll use some more geometry. In a parabola with an equation alpha x squared plus beta x plus gamma is equal to zero, we know that its maximum and minimum will be at its vertex, and its vertex happens when x is equal to negative beta over two alpha and alpha cannot be equal to zero. If we use this formula for the expression we're trying to maximize, we end up that c needs to be equal to negative 61 over negative two, and this simplifies to be 30.5. But we're not done yet. Remember that c has to be a positive integer. So we'll try the closest integer values of c is equal to 30 and c is equal to 31. We also want the maximum value. So let's calculate this. Remarkably, in either case, we get the maximum value is equal to 991, and that's our answer. So what seemed like an impossible problem 
turns out to be something we can understand through geometry. Incredible. Thanks for watching and making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.